Hi friends, welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about conditional formatting with the Excel Writer Python library. This video is a response to one of our YouTube friends' requests, so you guys can feel free to ask me anything and I'll try my best to answer your questions. Okay, let's dive into today's topic, conditional formatting. As Excel users, we're probably familiar with the conditional formatting feature, and most of the time we use it to highlight certain values or uh, make simple data visualizations. So we can find the conditional formatting button here in Excel, and as you can see, there are many options to choose from. I always like to go to the bottom where the new rule, and uh, because this window summarizes all the available options, and I can just pick what I need from here. As you know, there are lots of possibilities with conditional formatting, so we cannot talk about all of them. We'll walk through a few common ones in the video, but if you have any questions on any specific scenarios, leave a comment down below and I will get back to you soon. We're going to rely on some of the things we talked about in the previous video, and you can find the link to that video on the screen or in the description down below. Okay, let's open up a Python environment, import Excel Writer library, and create an Excel workbook. Then we'll create three Excel formats, one for red, one for yellow, and one for green. I'm going to generate some values to use uh, for the conditional formatting examples. I'm actually going to show this Excel sheet in the background so you have a better understanding on what we're trying to achieve. And this Excel file was actually created from our Python code. We also need to talk about a few new concepts here. So first, a conditional formatting in Excel is superimposed over the existing cell format, meaning that the conditional formatting will override some of the existing formats. Let me show you an example in Excel. So here is a list of numbers from 1 to 10. Let's add some format by changing the background color to yellow and the text color to red. And we also apply a strike through to the text. Then let's apply conditional formatting. We'll change the format for any values between 4 and 8. And in the format window, you can see that not all options are available to us. For example, the font or the size are grayed out. You can still change the style, whether you want a bold or regular font. And we can still change the border lines, but still some options are grayed out here. There seem to be no restrictions on the color selection. So let's change the format to using a black background color and white text without the strike through. Okay, so now we see that the conditional formatting basically overrides existing format. That's the first new concept. And the second one is that in the Excel Writer library, we use the method worksheet.conditionalFormat to create a conditional format. Of course, there are a few arguments for this method. And the first one is the cell address. It can be a single cell or a range. And we can use either the A1 style or the row column style notation to represent cell or the range address. The second argument must be a dictionary, which contains the properties that describe the format. Some of the main properties are type, criteria, value, and format. So type is the type of the format, whether we want to apply the cell or to text, or do we want to find the largest or the smallest numbers from a list? Criteria is the part of the condition we want to specify. For example, do we want to select numbers that are larger than something or smaller than something? And value is the second part of that condition. So for example, we can select values between, let's say, 5 to 7. And format is, of course, the format we want to apply to the cell. But remember that not all format properties can be modified during a conditional format. Let's get started with the code, and you can find the link to the code in the description below. All right, so for the first example, we're going to do some color coding for our numbers. For the numbers larger than 7, we're going to use green, and for the numbers smaller than 5, we're going to use red, and for any numbers in between, between 5 and 7, we're going to use yellow. So I'm just going to copy over the code, and I'll walk through the code what each line does. So this very first line, this is basically just writing kind of the table header. And we write the first list to cell B2. And we write the second list to cell C2. So list 1 is a list of integers from 0 to 9. And the list 2 is also a list of integers from 0 to 9, but not in any specific order. And we're going to apply the first conditional formatting. So the range we want to apply the format for is from B2 to C11, which is this range over here. And the type we want to apply is on the cell. So in general, if you're trying to apply a conditional formatting for number values, then you want to use cell 
for the type. And the criteria we say is greater than seven. And the format we're gonna use is uh, the grain color. Then the second conditional format does almost the same thing, except that for the condition, we are saying, okay, for numbers smaller than five, we use the red color. And last but not least, for the numbers between five and seven, we use the format yellow. And if you run this, you will get this kind of format over here. Let's move on to the next example. So in this example, essentially this is similar to what we had over here, except that we're not hard coding the threshold five and seven. Instead, we are inputting the threshold in the cells so we can change these numbers later on. Let me just uh, do a test. If I change that to three, then you see that there are cells highlights changing. And let me try that again, change it to five, and you see some other cells are changing. So let's take a look at how this is achieved. So again, similar things, we write the list of numbers to Excel. And for the conditional format section, we want to format cell and then greater than. So instead of hard coding the threshold numbers, now we want to input the cell address into the value property. And in general, whenever you want to use a cell address for the value property, you almost always want to use the absolute references, meaning that your cell address should contain uh, these dollar signs. Otherwise, it could mess up your conditional format. And the second conditional format method does the same thing, except that for uh, the criteria that we want to use is less than the number in cell C19. So for any number less than the number that's input in the cell C19, it will show the red color. Okay, moving on to the next example. Conditional formatting based on text. In column E and F, we write two list of strings. And in column E, the condition is uh, whenever this string contain the word Python. So as you can see, all the items that contain the word Python got highlighted in green. And the second conditional formatting is whenever the text begins with Python. So you see that although this one Excel Automate Python, although this one contains the term Python, it's not selected because it doesn't begin with Python. And for the conditional format in column E, all you need to do is you set the type to text and the criteria is containing and the value is the term that you want to check. Whereas for the column F, all we need to do is change the criteria from containing to begin with. So the next example we're going to look at is highlight the top n numbers from a list. I'm gonna make this window smaller a little bit so you guys can see. So here, this is our unordered list from zero to nine. For the conditional format, the type we want to use is top and the value is five, meaning that we're going to highlight the largest five numbers. There's also criteria property and right now it's commented out, but if we uncomment this and basically just say criteria is the percentage sign, then it means this conditional formatting will look for the top 5% numbers instead of the largest five numbers. So the next example is average, essentially um, Excel will calculate the average of this list. Now, if I select this, you see that the average is 4.5. So that's specified here. The type is average and the criteria is above. So essentially we'll format any number that is larger than the average of 4.5. That means from five and above will be highlighted in green. And the next example is check for duplicate. You can use this to check for either duplicate or you can also check for unique values. Let me move this window over here so you can see in this list here there are only two duplicate entries so the first python and the second python so this is how we specify the type we want to find the duplicates and if we change the duplicate to unique as the type you will see that these four values will be highlighted in green so moving on to the next example we can also do something called a three color scale the conditional formatting in excel and that is this rainbow looking um, i guess table here all you need to do define is for the type you just want to define three color scale and you want to define three different colors so minimum color mid color and max color and you can kind of see that the minimum color is set to red the middle color uh, somewhere between four to five is set to yellow and the max color nine is set to green there's also a two color scale instead of three color so if you want to use the two color scale all you need to do is change the type from three color to two color and at the same time comment out this 
middle color and that will give you a two color scale instead of three all right to the next example we'll have a data bar this is a data bar basically if i click on this then you will see um, these are actually values so from minus 10 minus 9 all the way to plus 9 and these are the actual values but i chose to hide the numbers and only show the bars that's why you only see the bars not any numbers and if you want to create a data bar then you gotta use the type as data bar and um, there are a lot of things that you can play around with for example you can play around with the bar color um, or the bar negative color so the positive numbers will be set to green and then the negative numbers will be red you can find the code from the link in the description below so feel free to download the code and play around with it so the last example we're going to talk about is conditional formatting based on formulas this kind of formatting will make our excel sheet very dynamic however formula based formatting can be a little tricky to work with because in some situations we need to use absolute references while in other situations we have to use non absolute through the references. And my go-to strategy is that uh, try the formula that you want to apply in Excel. For example, um, you want to go to here and type the formula that you want to use. You can try the formula twice, one with the dollar sign and the other is uh, without the dollar sign for the cell references. If it works in your Excel and you can take that same formula over to Python and that will also work. So for this particular example here, we have two columns column R and column S. We want to compare the two columns and we want to highlight the larger number between the two columns. So for example, here we're highlighting 5, 4, 3 because they are greater than 0, 1, 2. And on the next two colors, we're highlighting 3, 4 because they are greater than 2 and 1 and so on and so forth. And how to achieve that? In the type property, we specify formula and in the criteria. So here, the range that we want to format is from R2 to R11. And the first cell is is R2. That's why we type R2 greater than S2 here. If we were to format R3 to R11, then we have to change this criteria from 2 to R3 larger than S3. All right, let's change that back because we do want to use R2 instead of R3 in our case. And the second conditional format basically does the same thing. It's applied to the column S. So the first one, the first conditional format is applied to column R only, R2 to R11. And the condition is if the column R greater than column S, then we highlight the cells. And the second conditional format is applied to column S. And the condition is if column S is greater than column R, then we highlight the cell. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. All right, so that's it for today. And I hope you guys learned a lot about conditional formatting with Excel X Writer library. I'll see you in the next one.